In the last video, I briefly explained the Facebook Messenger rules. And in this video, I will explain the one-time notification. The one-time notification allows you to send one single message outside the 24-hour window. What you must do is when the users inside the 24-hour window, you must ask if we can send a message outside the 24-hour window. This is what we call permission-based. You need to ask permission to send the one-time notification. And what can you ask? Well, for example, you could ask, hey, is it okay if we send you a message when this product is back in stock? Is it all right if we send you a message when we have a new promotion? Or is it all right if we message you when we're back open again because of the COVID-19 situations? As you can hear, you need to specify the purpose of the message. But once the user clicks on the notify me button, you can send them a message outside the 24 hour window. In this video, I will show you how you can use the one-time notification inside ChatFuel. So before I'm going to explain how we can set up the one-time notification inside ChatFuel, we first need to make sure that we can use the one-time notification. So you need to go to your page settings and then go over to advanced messaging. And if you scroll down, you automatically see the one-time notification under requested features. And I already have a check, but you probably don't. So if you don't have a check, there is a request button here. And you just need to click that button. Then a pop-up comes, you need to click on confirm, and then you will also get a check and you can use the one-time notification. Okay, so if we head over to our Chatfield dashboard, we can just go to our flows and then we can go to the secret dessert recipe which we made before. So as I already mentioned, we need to ask for the one-time notification inside the 24 hour window. And if we get the permission inside 24 hour window, we can send a message outside the 24 hour window. And a great example is when someone just opted in for your secret dessert recipe, then we can ask, do you also want more recipes in the future when we have them. So let's do that. So if a person clicks on get the recipe, we can add a, another message with the text. Do you want to be notified if we have more recipes in the future? And then we can add two buttons with yes and with no. So if someone replies no, we can just say that's all right, first name, no hard feelings. And then we can add an icon. And if they want to be notified, if we have more recipes in the future, we can just add another message with, okay, first name, just click the button below and then we add another message with down then we have this nice icon and then we'll add the content and we'll add the content one time notification and if we click the, here you can specify the the topic of the one time notification so in our case it will be recipe and a small message that you can send with the one time notification block so for example we can say receive a message when a new recipe comes out so that's just really simple and one once people click on that notify me button we can send them a message outside the 24-hour window and we can also if they click on it we can say thank you first name okay so this should be working so if we just go back and we will test this flow. So we'll test it inside Messenger. So it will start with, oh, you want a secret dessert recipe? What is your email? Then we will leave our email and say, thank you. Click on the button below to download your recipe, now get the recipe. And then do you want to be notified if we have more recipes in the future? Then we can say no. And that's all right, you're in no hard feelings, and otherwise we can say yes. And if we click on yes, 
Okay, Joran, just click the button below. Get notified, receive a message when a new recipe comes out. Notify me. And if we click on that, we get thank you, Joran. So now people have opted in for our one time notification. And this means that we can send them a message outside the 24 hour window. So let's see how we can do this. And this really basically the same as using a broadcast. So if we go to re engage and we click on deliver your message now, then we can say the current tag is the one time notification. And the one time notification, we need to choose a specific topic, which will be recipe. We can select it. And then we can say, Hey, here is our new recipe with a button which go to the recipe with a URL. I would just type in my URL, but it, you can set the URL to the new recipe. And then you can just click on send. And when you click on send, it will be sent to all the users that opted in for your one time notification. So at this time, this will only be me but I will show you that it's actually working. So we click on send. So the message should be sending and then we just wait for like 30 seconds or a few minutes, really depends on messenger itself. And there's our one time notification. So now we've reached people outside 24 hour window. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.